What I'm going to do now is just go through and do a quick threading uh, of this machine as well as how to fill the bobbin um, and get the backup bobbin ready at the same time. The instructions in the manual suck. There is nothing else on the internet for this, for this particular machine. Um, so bear with me, I'll go through and do what we need here uh, for the threading. Some of the parts are going to be a bit complex to try and get the camera into, but you'll be able to figure it out if you're looking at the machine yourself. So going back up to the thread stand, um, the one on the left here I've got purely for the top thread and the one on the right is for the bobbin at all times. Biggest thing that I, it took me days to learn because like I said I was a novice, had no idea. The instructions of the manual say to go straight from the spool straight to here on this bar, feed it through, back itself over and go down through. That's bullshit. This one you need to go straight up to this bar up here and you see there's little rivets up here I suppose. So the thread on this one is going to come at the back and go through there first. So the thread just piles straight up from the uh, spool. Come across to the bar and then we're just going to go straight through the bar. We're not going to go back over itself because honestly this works just fine and it's the advice I got from the guys at Sewing Machine Australia. And you know what? It works. And then going straight down to this plate and the instructions got you going through and then back over and through again. Again, just go through once. That's all that's required. Moving down to this top tensioner here, and there's, let me just get my, pointer out. There's a hole in here. I'm gonna go in behind this hole and bring it through. And then I'm gonna go in between these discs on the tensioner. See there, and then I come down over on this one, which is the A and then the B. I'm going to go again in between the discs around and then back up. It helps if you have your finger underneath so it sort of guides it, and then the same sort of process through the B disc in the back and then down. And then I'm going to bring that back down around the right hand side of this one here. And again, feed it through the discs. This road gets a little bit tricky. Let me come around this way. In behind here, it's going to come straight up, and you see where there's the right hand disc and the left hand one. The left hand one's got a sort of a bend that comes back and touches the right hand disc. I'm going to go up behind there, straight over the top. Hard to do with a fade in the way. Bring that out. And then I'm going to go straight back down in behind this bar here. Just make sure that stays in the disc there. It has. Yep. Then we go up through here, up through this bar. And what I need to do is just turn the wheel so that that lever is at its highest point. Go through. And then I come back down. And in this one here, I'm going to go through, but I want to go onto the right hand side and pull this little lever out of the way. And it slides down the back just here. Next one I'm going to do is go in through this hole right here on this shaft. And then I'm going to come in from the left hand side and go in through the hole on the needle. And pull that through. 
Next one I'm going to do is this at the back lift the walking foot. And at the same time sort of feed. Let's see this angle. The thread through the hole on the walking foot. comes underneath and that's it there so that's just threading the top thread we need to do then once we've got a bobbin and we'll do another video for the filling of the bobbin itself so with the bobbin in and then as it pulls it goes anti-clockwise open this plate I'm going to lift up on this little bar here this one and there's a spring underneath just going to put my bobbin in there on here you see there's a little slit which is where the thread comes through just use your finger to guide that down and around. And then it needs to come back around into this little recess here. Don't ask what the technical names are, I can just show you. Oops. Uh, you see it now coming out from this recess to here. Now it's going to close the little lever. And have that just hanging back there. What I'm going to do now is raise my walking foot just to the back and I'm going to manually I'm going to hold on to the top thread and I'm just going to keep some pressure on it as I pull it around. It's going to go around the back, grab that thread from underneath Pull it up, I'm just going to use my seam ripper to bring that bottom thread in. One thing I failed to mention actually at the start is the whole time I do this, I turn the machine off just in case I bump the uh, pedal <laughs> and then I do some damage to myself. What I do, I'll hold both the threads here now. I'm just going to drop that walking foot back down and turn my machine on. And I'm just going to do a couple of stitches and then a cut. So what that's done now is it's cut the bobbin thread to the right length for uh, the setting you've got. And now obviously you've only got the top thread showing. This stuff me, when I first started on the industrial machine, I was used to having both the uh, bobbin or the bottom thread and top thread showing all the time. Um, but on this machine, you're only going to have the one.